Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you around TPF Training Center and this is where most athletes train and have a session with our coaches. Um, we're not only open for athletes, we also open for those who wants to get stronger, um, wants to get healthier or even wants to learn a uh, barbell basic movement. Um, here this is where SPD Thailand is as well, so you guys can drop by and buy some equipment. So right now we're in front of our training center here. Um, before we get an access in the room, uh, we have to use a finger scan because this is a private club, it's only for members. Alright guys, uh, once you enter the room, you will see this shelf before you enter the training center so basically this right here is all SPD equipment and it's not just SPD equipment we also have TBF t-shirt sell right here as well and if you guys want to see or are interested to buy Elego we also have a brochure right here so here at TPF training center we got full Elego power big platform for you guys to use so as you can see at the back right here is the competition rack the powerlifting barbell. So on this side, we got calibrated plates for you guys to use, um, and this is a great opportunity for those who are going to compete with us because uh, you get to train with the equipment that you're going to use in the competition. This right here is a cable machine for you guys to do accessory. So right here at the center of the room, uh, we got another platform. But this platform is a weightlifting platform. Uh, we got um, the rack as well, weightlifting rack, squat rack, I mean, and then the barbell, uh, weightlifting barbell is 20 kilos and 15 kilos at the back. And we also got uh, three extra barbell, uh, piece waist barbell uh, for you guys to use in case like uh, all those platforms is packed up and it's not enough barbell to use. Uh, even though it's not a powerlifting barbell and on this side as you can see um, we got a uh, bumper plate from Elego as well we got the little plate, the small plate all the way to 0.5 um, uh, Auto Gym might not have every size of the, the weight like the smaller weights but here we got at least like a pair of each so you guys can train with the number that you actually have to trade sometimes you have to round it up or round it down because uh, you they don't have a small plates so this right here another corner of the room we got all the dumbbells for you guys to use for accessories as well not just the cable machine we got uh, eight pounds of dumbbell all the way to 60 pounds and we also have um, resistant bands for you guys to use at the back over there hanging next to the dumbbells and we got skipping rope at the back, kettle, some kettlebells, some yoga mat for those who want to stretch after, um, and foam ropes. Uh, all this stuff, we should put it back after use because like other gym, we got some rules which is common, wipe and clean up equipment after you use and put the weight back or the stuff back where it belongs. Because I believe that we as an athlete, we're not uh, just lifting heavy alone or training alone. We also have to discipline ourselves as well. And like what I mentioned earlier, we also uh, for the rules uh, to use a training center. We also have to wipe and clean the equipment after use, uh, especially barbell. I would say that you should. Um, it's not like a must must that you have to do, but you should because. Um, especially barbell, everyone holding it, grabbing it, using it the whole time. Sometimes there's blood sticking because uh, you rip your hand or uh, sometimes it scratch with your shin for when you do deadlift uh, and you might not notice it that it's stick on the barbell here and it's not going to be healthy and it's not going to be clean for another person to use. So make sure you kind of wipe it up after. We actually have a brush here in the tank in the bucket or the shulk so you can you can just grab it and just kind of wrap it off brush it off like this especially where you grab the barbell the shulk gets stuck in there 
long time and uh, add on top of that is your sweat um, it's not going to be healthy at all um, we want everyone to have a healthy lifestyle right like training to, to take care of yourself get healthy so this should be one of the things that you should think about as well so right here i will give you a little tips uh for those who actually have a hard time holding the plate or uh keeping the plates back uh on the rack because i will see that a lot of time people will actually grab especially calibrate plate like this it's hard to hold because it's thin and it's quite heavy um, this one most of time most of the time i will see people grab from the top like this and this is where it is uh it's dangerous because it's kind of slippery sometimes because we are all we are also in the ac and sometimes your hands sweat and you don't really know if you grab from the top only that's a chance that it might slip down and hit your your toes or whatever it might get injured you know accident can happen so when you take it out let's start from take it out first you want to grab one hand on top and one hand on the side or almost at the bottom because you want to uh, rest that on your another hand right here now you just need to slide it out and just grab like this the whole time one on top one at the bottom and when you put it back same thing and because you know we all live heavy so you don't have to throw it or bang it okay i know that um it's going to make noise but we should minimize the noise because for you you know like when you train sometimes there's other people around it's not just you so it's kind of distract a lot of people so you also have to respect other people that are using the gym as well so here like I said too right if you lift heavy there's only a little bit I know that you guys probably tired after training already you just want to get it over it you know some of you doesn't even want to put it back but this is the thing that you have to teach yourself discipline so here the way you keep it you just hold the same thing and you know the edge of the rack right here put it on top of that and then slide them in that's it uh, it's going to make noise but it's not going to be so loud because if you do this it's going to distract other people while they're training so like I said respect other people because this is not your own space it's a sharing space and we all should respect each other alright guys this is pretty much it uh, our TPF training center and this is where magic happens anything is possible if you put your mind into it so for those who actually into lifting in general doesn't have to be powerlifting in specific uh, I would recommend you guys to come and train here because you will train alongside with other athletes and sometimes might be world-class athlete elite, uh, elite level sorry um, sometimes they hear and you get a chance to meet them it's actually inspire you to work harder and be better as well so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys uh, will like this place if you've never been here before come by and check it out with us because we're not just a training center or open gym like this uh, we also offer a PT session or sometimes we have some workshop you know it's a lot of interesting thing happen here and is a great opportunity for, for you to learn from uh, place that actually offer you the high quality stuff as well not just equipment but uh, the lesson or the course you know everything is high quality here so hope you guys enjoy and happy lifting <laughs>